Oh, I said that I won't make any um <clears throat> more sleep breakdown, especially at night. But my subscribers has been rec um re re requesting that I come on and do a breakdown. I'm not gonna do a full breakdown. I'm gonna go through this very quickly. But what I am gonna do is pick players that I think that you're insane. A must plays. If you don't play these players, you're like losing your mind. I'm gonna pick my must play players. I'm gonna come up with a um tentative lineup. <clears throat> for tomorrow but it's impossible to pick a lineup at this time of the season the night before because there's going to be so many injury news that drop right before lock that's going to open up a lot of value and at that point you're going to um really finalize your lineup but what i am going to do is have my weapons ready the players that i'm not going to fade no matter what and then when the value open up i'll just surround those players with some good value and get the lineup going on a live show tomorrow okay so that's what i'm going to do so to start with the obvious plays, I'm going to go do, go down this list. Westbrook, I'm fading tomorrow, okay? He needs 80. He just went off 100. People are on him. Tomorrow is the day to fade him for more than one reason. For one, this game, now, I'm a person that preach don't go by blowouts, right? This game is going to be a blowout, guys. San Antonio is going to run them out. San Antonio is playing very well right now. I know OKC is at home, but San Antonio is healthy right now. Kawhi, LMA... The only way this game stay, the only way I play Russell Westbrook tomorrow, to be honest, is if San Antonio decides to rest um, either Kawhi or Lamarcus Aldridge. If Kawhi and Lamarcus Aldridge plays tomorrow, I'm not playing. I'm not playing Russell Westbrook, and I'm 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 at peace with that decision. All right, I'm fading him tomorrow. Harden is going to be on a back to back. I'm not playing Harden with. Um, I'm just going to go over the big names first before I get into my plays. With the um, with DeMarcus healthy, I'm not paying 10K for Anthony Davis. LeBron James is interesting, but on a back-to-back, -back, I still like him on a back-to-back. -back. If they say that he's playing, I might pick on some LeBron again tomorrow. He already dropped 60 against this team. In two games, he's averaging 60 against this team. And um, we know that Philly gives up... A lot to the guard, point guard, and the center. And in my opinion, LeBron kind of likes to run the point, and he likes to grab rebounds. So I think LeBron could triple double against this team very easily tomorrow. So if they don't rest them, which I think they might, but I don't know. LeBron is uh, depends on the type of value that open up tomorrow. I might take LeBron for 10k over Westbrook for 13k. Right? Um, Demarcus Cousins is still too cheap. I said that the last game when he came back from his ankle. And he went off for 60. They didn't even touch his price, okay? He's going against the team that just traded him. The team that betrayed him. The team that robbed him of millions of dollars. They robbed this man of so much money after promising to give him an extension. They stabbed him in the back. If you do not play DeMarcus, that's like not playing Nurkic the other night. And I didn't play Nurkic the other night because that, that game wasn't in the slate. If you do not play DeMarcus Cousin tomorrow, I know he's going to be owned through the ceiling, but you want that chalk. You got to play him for 9.5K against the, What? Man, I think it, even if this game is a blowout, DeMarcus Cousin, he might get ejected, though. So be careful. He might get tossed. <laughs> DeMarcus Cousin is a lock for me, personally. All right? All right. Let's continue. John Wall, I, um, I think, might be a lock, too. He needs mid-50s. He's averaging mid-50s. So he's averaging six times value in the last 10 games, right? Now, his price went down from 10.2 to 9.2. Why? Because it's Utah Jazz. But and um, I've been getting used to this DVP thing. For point guards, Utah has not been doing that great against the point guards recently. Uh, it says that they're dead last in the last five games. So, oh, man, let's see. In the one game they played, he already dropped 50 on them. Man, the way this guy's playing right now, 60s in three straight games, all on the road. It's hard for me not to play. Uh, I love John Wall tomorrow. I love him. Love John Wall for that price. When they, when they start dropping these guys' prices, you got to love them, right? Um, and then Gobert, don't be afraid because he only dropped 36. All right, don't be afraid. No, do not be afraid. He's going up against Washington. You know I like to pick centers against Washington. We saw what DeAndre Jordan just did to Washington. Um, <clears throat> the coach is saying that Gortat needs to step up his game, and thank God that we got options in Mahinmi and Jason Smith. That alone is enough 
to convince me that that team has issues. He already dropped 50 against this team, guys. He's at home. All signs, people are going to get off of him because he just had a bad game because Haywood was back. That's all right, man. You got to get Rudy Gobert in your lineup. You got to get Rudy Gobert. I like Gobert more than John Wall. I don't mind putting Cousins as the power forward. And then throwing Gobert as my center. Love Gobert tomorrow. Um, love Gobert tomorrow. Love Gobert tomorrow. You gotta have Gobert tomorrow. He's back in the fifties easily, very easy tomorrow. Okay. Um, now John Wall, I like a lot. I don't say I love him. I like him a lot. I don't love him for. I don't love John Wall. And to be honest, I could come off John Wall, but Cousins and Gobert love right now. Okay. Vucevic, it seems like a good matchup and all, but I'm trying to stay away from that game. Some, I have a bad feeling about them on the road in Boston tomorrow. Um, I don't love Vucevic. Another must play tomorrow is Valanchunas. All right, that's something I was looking at. Indiana, centers against Indiana right now, you got to take advantage of now. His price adjusted rightfully so. He went from 4.7 up to 5.2. Okay, he just dropped a 40 bomb, 30 the game before that. And then against this team in only 23 minutes, only 23 minutes, he double-doubled, 13 rebounds, 11 assists. And I watched that game. That game wasn't too long ago. It was about two weeks ago. Yeah, right here, the 19th. I remember that game. That was the day when at, at halftime I thought that I was going to take down the whole slate because all my players were doing so well. And then the game turned into a blowout, and he didn't play in the fourth quarter. I don't think this one is going to turn into a blowout. Valanchunas is going to feast. You need Valanchunas tomorrow, okay? Um, other players that I like. Let's look at the games. Kemba Walker. In this game, I'm going to start breaking down the game. I'm just going to tell you who I like and why I like. I'm not going to get into like too many players. But Kemba Walker is in a good DVP situation. It's going to be extra possessions, fast-paced game. He's at home. So Kemba Walker, he's just too expensive for me to say he's a lot. But if he was 7K, I would say, yeah, Kemba Walker is a must tomorrow, okay? And then on the Denver side of the ball, I don't love anyone in this game. Nope. Indiana versus Toronto, I really like Corey Joseph a lot. I like to ta target Indiana with the point guard. So I would say, boom, let's hold on to some Corey Joseph. I love Corey Joseph in this matchup tomorrow. Delon Wright, I've been telling you guys that he needs a blowout to really get the minutes. I like him a lot, but um, not tomorrow. I mean, that's a good premium for his price. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. We can get to some Delon Wright. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to um, handcuff Delon Wright to Corey Joseph. For 9K, you're going to get 54 out of the both of them. And they both can hit value. So, I like Delon Wright. Bounce back after a bad game and a tough matchup in Charlotte to come back up against Indiana. He's he's blowout proof. If this game gets out of hand, you know that Delon Wright's going to take it to the top. So, that's a good handcuff if you want to take it there. Um, DeRozan, be careful. Um, I know it seems like it's a good matchup because Indiana is generous against the guards, but he's going to attract some Paul George tomorrow for sure because he he's the main threat offensively. So because of that, somebody that I like is Damari Carroll. Now, if you look at the last game they played, Carroll hit not a lot of threes. He was four for five from the three-point line because Paul George came off of him to guard Damari Carroll, which made Carroll open all game he was hitting on threes and he had a, a good night for his price so if he's going to be playing and he only did that in 18 minutes he's going to be playing 20 something minutes he's going to hit a lot of threes tomorrow so he's a sneaky player that i like for value in this game on the toronto side and then um valentunas i already said is pretty much a lock and that's it on the indiana side um i don't love anyone paul george is going to get locked down by um by um Damari Carroll plays decent defense. I don't I don't think Paul George is going to have a big game tomorrow. Um, Miles, the bigs have a hard time against um, Toronto. Miles Turner is going to be in check. Thad Young just had a big game. I've been waiting for it. I missed it. But tomorrow is not the day to think he's going to have another big game. Um, Lance Stevens, I think he's supposed to make his debut. If he does, I like him. I like him. Oh, he's not going to make his debut until Sunday. All right, so let's get off that. Um, and then Monte Ellis, 
is worth some consideration if he starts. Um, with with all the focus being on Paul George, we know that he's been able to get open and good matchups. He can do well. In 25 minutes, he only put up 21 against his team. I don't love Monte Ellis, but I like him. I like him a little bit. I like Monte Ellis a little bit, right? Orlando versus Boston. I don't like. I don't like that game for some reason. But if I had to take it there on the Boston side, I like um, Jay Crowder. He's been super consistent. And then uh, Alf Crawford has been super consistent. In 29 minutes, he already put up 33.5. I have a good feeling this game is going to get out of hand early tomorrow. Um, on the Orlando side of the ball, this seems like a good matchup for Peyton. But I've been noticing that Avery Bradley has been shutting down guards on both both point and shooting guards. I don't want to mess with the guards against um, Boston anymore. When Avery Bradley was out, yes. But right now, Boston is playing decent defense, man. Um, I want to see how much teams have been scoring against them. I know that the uh, Milwaukee just came in, put up 103. Miami put up 108. Phoenix put up 130. But guys have been injured. We really can't rely on those numbers because A.V. Bradley missed a couple games. I just don't like this game, man. I'm not going to break it down. Um, my my opinion might be a little bit irrelevant for this game. I'm just not feeling it. It's a game that I'm going to stay away from. Philly versus Cleveland. Um, I still like O'Connell a lot, but not for that price. Because his price, when he was 5K, 5.5, yes. 6.2, no. McConnell, he's going to be stuck around 30 forever, no matter how many minutes he plays. Stay away from McConnell. Stauskas, TLC, those bench guys are all sneaky, but they all have increased price because of the ownership from the last game. So I was fade this whole game too. And then Cleveland on the back-to-back, -back, LeBron kind of stands out to me with all this um, that I got going on. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to LeBron, but I like LeBron tomorrow. This is a matchup where in two games he's averaging 60. I already mentioned that. Um, this is just a perfect situation for him. But it's a back-to-back, -back and he's traveling, right, from Chicago to Cleveland. It's not a long flight, about an hour and a half, less than an hour and a half. So I just, I don't know. In the back-to-back, -back, I'm just a little bit wary about it, okay? Let's see how our lineups are doing. I'm still in first place, and the night is winding down. So knock on wood, man. Woo, if I could bring $100 from $20, I would love this for tonight, man. Shout-out to my community, man. You guys are great, man. You guys... We built the lineup. Although I hated Kyrie Irving, he's still proving to be valuable. He's still he's still in the win. So if this even if I get a hundred dollars tonight, I'm I'm super grateful for that. Trust me. Let's continue. Um Yeah, so um and LeBron is the only Cleveland player that I would love for tomorrow, to be honest. Tristan Thompson might be a little bit higher owned than normal, but He's like the fourth or fifth option for his team. You don't want to take that risk, right? Dallas versus Memphis, I'm going to stay away from that game. There's no one in that game that I recommend you play. On the Dallas side of the ball, I don't love anybody, none. The thing about this game, they, they both like to play slow, so no one is going to force the pace. It's going to be a low-scoring, boring game, and maybe the bigs. I, I don't like anyone in that game. So, I mean, if some value drop that a bunch of people are going to rest. We know that Dallas have been threatening to rest their veterans. Now that they're pretty much... Um, out the playoffs, um, Coach Carlisle put out a statement saying that his veterans are going to rest a lot coming down to the end. So pre-lock, if some value appears, I'll, I'll take it if it's, it's if it's um, juicy enough. But for right now, in the night before, I'm not really too interested in that game. Detroit versus Milwaukee. Um, again, I'm not I'm not interested in that game. I'm just not. And Ted Okumpo, we all know how I feel about him. I never pick him. Never. Ever. Now, some nights he'll go off for 50. Some nights he'll go off for 20. All right? Some nights he'll go off for 70. Some nights for 30. So if you get him on the right night, then you win money. But I don't know what the night, right night is. Brogdon's been pretty hot, man. But Detroit's a little tough. I'm going to stay away from that situation. Um, I don't love anybody in this game. Monroe? Nope. On the Detroit side... If Drummond is a little cheaper, maybe. I might. Uh, nah, I, I'm particular about my son. I like Drummond a little bit more than a little bit in this game. So go ahead and um take a shot on some Drummond. If you feel good about him. Marcus Morris just went off. Don't think that'll go happen again. Tobias, you got to get the Pistons right. 
and I'm not taking that risk tomorrow, okay? New York versus Miami. This team just played, and Josh Richardson seemed to be the guy to pick. Um, and uh, Are we going to chase that again? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I could chase Josh Richardson again. I'll, I'll be honest. I don't know. I don't know if he could do it twice. For 5K, it's it's, it's intriguing. It's the Knicks. And um, shout out to Gabe, Gabriel Santana. I'm pretty sure he's going to have some Josh Richardson, but I'm good, man. I'm good off that. Um, and then James Johnson just had a big game. Why, why? I like James Johnson more than Josh Richardson, to be honest, because James Johnson has been super consistent. But... Off the bench, I just don't want to get him long. I've been getting him long all season. I'm not doing that again. White side, in his mid-40s, he struggled. He has a hand issue. I keep telling people, do not play this guy with stitches in his hand. And people, oh, yeah, yeah, I, what are you talking about? Uh, and, and it's starting to show. I guess after the stitches, he had a decent game against Boston. So people really got excited about that. And then um, they started jumping on him. The guy has stitches in his hands, and he admitted that it hurts. Man, let those stitches heal, man. Stay away from white side, if it was me at least. Porzingis, not for that price. Not for that price. And uh, going against a good defense. Hernan Gomez, I don't like any Knicks. Maybe. Nah, I don't like any Knicks. No Knicks. Derrick Rose, questionable. I don't like any Knicks. I'm moving on. Um, San Antonio OKC, everybody loves Westbrook. And I get it, rightfully so. He's going to cripple my lineup. I'm not on Westbrook. It's just not a good matchup to play Westbrook. Um, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm at peace not playing Westbrook. I like Patty Mills more than a little, a little, a little more than a little bit. Patty Mills is who I like. Um, and then Ginobili, super consistent, super consistent. Ginobili's been going. Uh, for that price, I would take Ginobili here for sure. I'll take some Ginobili. Um I'm not interested in this game that much either. Aldridge for 7K? No, it's not a good matchup. You know who I am interested in on the OKC side of the ball coming off the bench? Ennis Canner for 4.8K? Wow. Wow. They are so disrespectful. Why would they put Ennis Canner for 4.8K? He's going to be... Well, you know what? Maybe... Uh, so he's going to be seeing the bench, which means he's going to see a lot of Gasol and David Lee. I like Canna. I'm just particular about my centers. I got my two centers for tomorrow, but I like Canna in this one. Um, I don't hate Russell Westbrook. I just don't love him for that price on a big slate like this. No, I'm good. I'll take the loss again if he does go off, but I'm all right. And I might make a, a Russell Westbrook lineup and put like $5 on it just in case he goes off and, and put a better effort this time. But I'm, I'm not exposing myself to too much Russell. It depends on how much I win tonight that determines how – how much I um, take advantage of that Russell Westbrook for tomorrow. All right. Um, Sacramento, I already said you got to play Cousins. On the New Orleans side, there's nobody that I really love. Utah versus Washington. Now, Bradley Beal, I don't like any Washington players but um, John Wall. I love John Wall tomorrow for some reason. I think John Wall is going to be okay. And then Steph Curry, going to be going up against Pesky. Um, um, pesky, pesky, um, Pat Bev, and, and I don't think Pat Bev can slow him down, but for 9.5k, I'm not trying to get there for him. For 7k against this team, I am so in love with Clay Thompson tomorrow. So in love with Clay Thompson, so in love. They just ooh, back at home against Houston, so in love with Clay Thompson tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to take a shot. Let's see, right? Clay Thompson, he's so he's so hard to pick, but his shots are wet, man. This guy could shoot. <laughs> Nine for 16, over 50%. He had a bad game against Sacramento, but that's about it. Everything else over 50%, right? And that's a cheap price, to be honest, for some Clay. Um, he needs 40s. I think he'll get there. I think he'll get there to, um, this game. He's playing defense. That's the next thing. He's, he's taking pride in his defense. Houston gives up a lot of turnovers because of how they move the ball around so much. So I think he gets some steals. I think he scores more than 25. I think he scores in the 30s. Um, I like Klay Thompson tomorrow. I'll consider some Klay back at home. Um, 
I'm at peace with some Clay Thompson tomorrow. Iguodala, you got to have some Iguodala, man. For that price, the guy's too cheap. Iguodala has been the difference maker for this big winning streak. So you got you got to have... Why do they have him as a two guard now, though? Iguodala is a small forward. What are they talking about? DraftKings get crazy sometimes. I'm willing to switch out Iguodala, um, Clay Thompson for some Iguodala for this lineup's sake. Love Iguodala tomorrow. Love Iguodala tomorrow. I love him. I, I like Iguodala. I don't love him. I like him a lot. So my locks are Cousins, Gobert, and Valanchunas are the three players that will not... There's no way I don't play those three players tomorrow, okay? Cousins, Gobert, and Valanchunas. And then the people I like a lot are Corey Joseph, Cuffwood, Delon Wright, and then Andre Iguodala. All right, now let's shop for some small forwards. I might just get frisky and throw some LeBron in there. Boom. You know? And then see what type of value comes around um, at lock. Um, Brandon Wright though I don't know if I can get to that well, I don't know I don't know if I can get to Brandon Wright um, That sucks that Iguodala is a flipping Two guard now um, CJ Miles against Toronto Depends on what type of news come out Magruder's been playing alright And it's the Knicks I know he just sucked against the Knicks But it's easy for anybody to do well against the Knicks if they get hot. Oubre has been hot, man. He went on and had another 20-point game. Utah, though. Utah, Utah. Jeez, that makes me... That, that, that scares me. Utah, no. I'm not doing Oubre. Utah bench, still not doing Oubre. I'm, I'm good with Oubre. Um, Jason Smith, though, against Utah, no. <laughs> uh it just depends on what news drops tomorrow. It just depends. I wouldn't mind taking a punt on some Hernan Gomez if Plumlee is out. Nah, I don't think I could do that. Maybe I can't get to LeBron James, right? Maybe it's just a little too much that a cripple my lineup. But let's shop for some forwards that I like. Um, Paul George just went off against them. Nope, 27. I'm not I'm not hot about Paul George. Nah, not on the road like that. Draymond Green in this matchup. How did I not see that? This is this is it. This is it right here, guys. I throw some Draymond in there. Uh let's see what other forwards I like more than a little bit tomorrow. Um some Draymond and then some um no, Cardi Stein. You know, Biggs have been doing okay against um Sacramento, so I might I might get brave and throw some Cardi Stein in there. I'm not gonna lie to you, but he's a small forward. I need a small forward. Can't get some Cardi Stein, but I like Cardi Stein tomorrow. I think Cardi Stein is in a good spot tomorrow, guys, and he's due. It's been a while, right? Let's see. One of these monster games, and he goes off 30. He's safe around 30. I like Carly Stein tomorrow. A little more than a little bit. I like Carly Stein tomorrow. Um, damn, they got Josh Richardson. I might just go Josh Richardson again, to be honest. The way that that Miami fan was talking, he's steadily in the upper 20s and 30s. I don't mind. Just throw some Josh Richardson in there. And that's a bad lineup right there. I love it. Love this lineup so far. So that's my little mini breakdown of the slate, man. I, it's hard for me to tell you guys who to play the night before with two weeks left in the season. I cannot apply my system because there's not enough consistency. So this is preliminary to lineup. I'm going to go ahead and enter it. Um, play with confidence. And then pre-lock tomorrow. I'm gonna because of how many games there are, I'm gonna um break down I'm I'm gonna do a slate breakdown pre lock tomorrow. I'm gonna come on at five thirty, break down all the games and get you guys the information that you like to hear from me. But for right now, I just can't do it at midnight the night before. But I'll give you guys something to listen to on the way to work, when you're at the gym working out, when you falling asleep, you got some media to listen to, all right? Um, our lineup is still pulling through, guys, in the night. Eh, where are the games right now? Let's see. Let's see where the games are. Third quarter, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, oh, this game didn't even get to halftime yet. All right, so I don't know. Let's see how it plays out. But um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow afternoon, man.